Hey squad, welcome back. Now today I'm going to be demonstrating what I consider to be one of the best audio processing plugin suites and that is of course the Tony Maserati fantastic collection of plugins. Now hopefully I'm going to bring you value in this one so don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Well, let's get into it. Okay, as you can see on screen, I've got five instances of the Tony Maserati plugins currently processing my audio on this particular project. I've also got an instance of the CLA mixed down on the master bus, but we'll go through all of this and I'll show you where I'm using each of these plugins and why. We'll do an AB reference so you can hear the effect each plugin is having on my audio prior to mix down. Now these are all being used as part of my mix process. And once I export my mix, I'll then go through the mastering process. So keep that in mind. So the first question you might wanna ask is why am I using this particular suite of plugins? And the answer is really simple. They sound great. These particular plugins have a great tonal quality, which they print onto the audio, a very analog kind of tone, which really appeals to me and really suits the type of music I create. So let's explore each one of these and let me show you how I'm actually using them. Now we're in Logic Pro, as you can see, and the track I'm mixing is a song called Affirmations, which will be released in a couple of weeks time. Once the track drops, I'll be promoting it and I'll post a link in the description of this video. So should you wish to check it out, I'll really appreciate it. As you can see on screen, I've got everything properly organized into groups. You can see I've got a drum group here. These are all my drums. And I've got everything in individual track stacks. In fact, I'm using folder stacks to group things together. And then I'm routing everything to an individual bus. So let's start with the drums here. So I've got all of these drums and they're all being routed to bus 10, which is my favorite drum bus. And each of the drum elements, as you can see, has its own processing. But where I'm aiming to use the Maserati plugin is on the actual bus. I want to glue together and color all of my drums with the tonal characteristics of the Maserati GRP. So let's solo our drums and have a listen to how this particular plugin is coloring them. Okay, so I'm not gonna spend much time on this particular plugin because I've done a video on this one already. So use the link in the description to find out more about this particular plugin. So let's move on to the next group of instruments. So the next group of instruments we'll look at is the keyboard group. And in here we've got electric piano, we've got some synth parts, got a marimba part which I've grouped in, and just some other pads and stuff which occur at different intervals. So let's have a listen to the keys section without the Maserati HMX harmonics plugin activated. Now let's bring it in. How awesome is that? This unit instantly adds more great harmonics to my keys, really bringing out the richness of the keyboards and once again, pulling them together as a single unit. And you've got these really straightforward controls as well to modify the sound and you've got a range of simple templates to get you started. One thing I'd say you must make sure of when you're using these, these tools is that you ensure this thing lights up. So if I was to pull the sensitivity back down to about, let's say about here, let's have a look. Nothing's happening. I'm gonna increase until I start getting some reaction. Yeah, that's what you want. What you want is a nice bright green color. And that shows that the plugin is actually taking effect 
on your audio. So you do so by adjusting the sensitivity. If you find that the instrument or the group of instruments is then becoming too loud, then you just use the output control to pull the volume down so it sits properly in the mix. But on all of these plugins, make sure you're getting a response here by illuminating this bulb so that you know you're actually having an effect. Definitely one to check out, especially if you're using lots of keyboards and pads and rich tones in your mixes. Okay, so next up, we're gonna look at our guitars. And on this track, we've got two very specific acoustic guitars playing. We've got a nylon guitar, and then we've got a steel guitar. And what I'm using here is the Maserati ACG, which is great for acoustic guitars. And if I was to look quickly at the presets, look at all these great presets you've got here and here. Okay, lots to choose from. I generally start with a default setting and then adjust from there because I like to do things in a subtle way. Anyway, then let's have a listen to what's happening with the guitars. Then I'll switch in the plugin so you can hear the characteristic change in tone. You're listening to this stuff in isolation, of course, I understand, so you're not getting proper context, but often it's easier to hear the tonal changes in isolation. At the end of this, I will do an AB with everything off and everything on so you can hear the full track and how the plugins are affecting it. Okay, so that's the Maserati ACG. Let's move on to the next group. Hey squad, just reminding you that if you're interested in a personalized online one-to-one -one tuition session or a consultation, just head over to my website, musictechtraining.com and complete the contact form with your details and your requirements and I'll be happy to get right back to you. Okay, let's crack on with the video. Now the Maserati VX1 is one of my absolute favorite tools in this toolbox and it's of course for vocals. Let's bypass the plugin and play back the vocals as they are. Now let's bring in the plugin and hear the richness that this plugin is adding to these vocals. Absolutely gorgeous. And you've got different contours that you can use as well. I'm on contour one. Plus you've got all of these preset options to get you going. The controls again are very straightforward. Definitely nothing too complicated. And as you would do, you try things out, have a listen, and if it works for you, it works. Set it and move on. Definitely another great tool that's gonna add richness to your vocals. Okay, so let's move to the last group. Okay, so the last set of instruments we're going to process is my bass instruments. And I've got two instances of the Maserati B72 bass plugin. And I've got one on my main bass group bus, which is right here. And I've got an instance on my 808 bass. So let's have a listen to how these instances of the plugin are affecting the tone of the basses. So what I'm going to do is solo the bass and I'll solo the drums and I'll do an AB with the B72 on this bass so you can hear what's going on and do the same with the 808 bass section at the end. Yeah, that's really helping to allow this bass to cut through. Once everything is playing, this plugin will definitely push the bass forward and open it up, but also subdue it enough so it doesn't take over the whole track. So let's move down here to the 808 section. Let's start bypassed. Okay, let's bring it in. Now the 
plugin is helping me to control the dynamics of the bass and adding some additional harmonics as well. So what I'm going to do is give you some playback with all of the plugins switched off and then with all of them switched on so you can hear the contrast between the two. Okay, so let's play back this section of the track. And I've gone through and I have bypassed every instance of the Maserati plugin, as you can see right here. And also on my master bus, as I've mentioned before, I've got this instance of the Waves CLA mix down plugin and I've bypassed that. This unit right here is a great unit for summing things together and the tonal quality this adds to the overall mix is very reminiscent of a classic SSL mixing console. And finally down here, I've got an instance of Logic's level meter. Just to keep an eye on my overall level because I wanna make sure I've got enough headroom left in this mix for when I go to mastering. So we're gonna play back this section of the track with all of these plugins bypassed, and then I'll switch them all in and we'll play back again. So you'll be able to have some context of what's going on and you'll be able to contrast the A and B versions of the track. But I hope I have brought you value. And if I have, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and check back for more. Until next time, playing out, I'm Deuce, peace.